Hello and welcome to Let's Play Disney's Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Yes, I'm going to take you back to the past to play games that don't suck ass. Let's begin. Now we'll be playing Chip. Chip! Okay, gang, we have a new assignment. Our cute little neighbor, Mandy, was lost, has lost her kitten. I say, this is a job for the Rescue Rangers. Gadget. I'll go ahead, Chip, and scatter some things of mine that might help while we search the city. Chip, good idea, Gadget. That's the spirit, Dale. You and I can start on the trail. Monty, why don't you and Zipper track down one of those strange mechanical dogs we've been seeing in the park lately? Monty, mechanical dogs? Oh, piece of cake, Chip. We'll get right on it. You can depend on us. I don't know what their voices sound like in the show because I really wasn't a big fan. All right. Uh, first off, this is my uh, first really old game that I have, well, successfully. Well, I say successfully. We'll see if this gets uploaded. Depends on if I fail or not. But this will be my first game I've, uh, very old game I've successfully let's played. Uh, it's not totally blind. I played this a very, very long time ago when I was probably around 13 or 14 years old. We won't talk about how long ago that was. I have also seen speed runs of the game. But, uh, yeah, I, I used to love this game. I had a... It, you can play this game co-op. Me and a friend of mine used to play this all the time. Keep in mind, you know, when you're 13 years old, you don't really have a lot of money. Uh, this, the combat, uh, as you can see, is very, very in-depth. You can pick up objects and throw those objects. Very complicated. Oh, God. Oh, see. Look at that. Skills and reflexes. Oh, God. Damn dogs. See... See how the dogs uh, jump around the boxes. Very wily mechanical dogs. Hey, it looks like I killed him even though he was off screen. Uh, but yeah, the boxes you can hide in. I think the dogs will, can run into those or the enemies can run into those and it will kill them or hurt them. I can't remember what good that does. Um, since I haven't played this in a long time, I don't know how well I'm going to do. Uh, I'd actually started a let's play of DuckTales. And I was like, oh, I'll blow through this game, no problem. Yeah. Uh, it was not pretty. Alright, that's an Invincibility B. I don't know what the hell his name was in this show. I probably shouldn't dick around. So I don't waste the B. Somehow the B makes you immune to electricity. I don't know how that works. I also don't... Oh, and that looks like that glowing acorn, radioactive acorn, gave me health. So apparently Chip is a mutant chipmunk, which makes sense since he talks and wears a little parka and a hat and solves crime. But yeah, if you didn't know, back in the late 80s, early 90s, there was a show called Chippendale Rescue Rangers, oddly enough. Oop, whoop, get out of my way. So you can hide in these metal boxes, which I don't even know how that works. I don't really want to stand on electricity. Oh, let's try this. Ah, that works. See, I think the regular boxes bounce away when you do that. But these stay. So we want to hold on. But it kicks you out of the box for some reason. Video game logic, folks. Don't question it. Especially early 90s video game logic. But anyway, there was a uh, Disney cartoon called Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. This was the golden era of Disney cartoons. We had awesomes like uh, DuckTales and um, Darkwing Duck, which Darkwing Duck was awesome. You kids today, swear to God, you don't know what awesome cartoons are. I thought we had a boss, but... Oh, oh look at that. God, reflex. This is, like, this is like a precursor to Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, where you can really show off your mad agility and button mashing skills, fighting off enemies, 
you've got the blaring metal music going on in the background to really get you pumped to fight these sick, sick enemies from hell. It's really just, really, you know, games like that owe a lot to this. Puzzles, like I had to use those boxes to get up to, to here, really brain teasers. I mean, normally it would take you hours to figure that out. Ah, you son of a bitch. See, he hits you and runs away. Beginning of AI. Anyway, I didn't really like the show, um, Rescue Rangers. I thought it sucked. Anyway, you get the cheese. This guy obviously loves cheese. He's a mouse. Yeah, mice love cheese. Get it? Bosses. Ridiculously easy in this game. This game overall is pretty easy. And again, I'm kind of afraid to say that because I started to say that in DuckTales and I made a total ass of myself. But yeah, as you can see, incredibly easy. Oh, bonus stage. Basically, you just uh, grab things. I don't even know what those flowers are for. Fat cat. Ha ha ha. I tricked you, rescue rangers. The kitten was just a clever trap to lure you here. I will lure already caught your precious gadget. From now on, she is inventing things for me. You'll have to take her from my casino if you really want her back. Alright, so look. We have choices. We could either go to world B which obviously is faster, or A and then C. Now why you would do A and then C, I don't know. We're gonna go to B, because this is gonna be a pretty short Let's Play. If people really want, I might go back and do A and B, but nobody wants that, so I'm not gonna. What's this? Oh, a health, a health radioactive acorn. So we're in a diner now, obviously. And there's probably some stuff underneath these boxes, but I'm not going to find them. This is just going to be a relatively quick Let's Play. I mean, there's not really hidden things in this, which, you know, I'm sure those of you who have watched any of my other Let's Play are probably pretty damn thankful for. So, otherwise, this game that normally would take about 20 minutes would take me about 5 hours. Because I'm like, oh my god, I must check every crevasse. Hmm. Oh god, I forgot about the other guys. Hey, thanks. This game giveth, and this game taketh away. Oh, you get the... Oh, eh. That's kind of obscene. He kind of does a pelvic thrust and shoots these green things at you. Now, this is something I have never understood. Even when I was a kid, this makes no sense. You've got the little, uh... Doing a little little jig. Do the hump, the hump. Do the hump, the hump. Anyway... You got this water, right? Obviously, you got to turn the valve off to get the water to stop. But in front of it, we've got water coming down over there, too. Now, when you do this, you jump on it to turn it off. It makes the water stop. How does that make any logical sense whatsoever? How is the water that's coming over here stop the water? I mean, that. in what world does that make any sense? And what the hell are these flowers for? I mean, it doesn't seem to be keeping track of them anywhere. I don't know. Anyway, yes, the Cartoon Rescue Rangers never liked it. I've always thought Chip and Dale, even back in the old days, were like really crappy characters. So, honestly, I can't tell you a lot about the characters. But DuckTales? Yeah, loved me some freaking DuckTales. That's when cartoons were cartoons. For manly men. Hey, 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 hey! You got, uh... If you're doing pelvic thrusts and you've got green globs coming out of that area, you need to see a doctor ASAP. Oh, that's not right. Some ghost and goblins, ninja gaiden type shit right there. Oh, oh, hey! Yeah, I'm too good at this. See? I take damage and then they give you health. Uh, yeah! Out of the frying pan and. Hey, what's this? Looks like a bomb, but I can't pick it up. That's interesting. I know there's gonna be more flying things. Ooh, hello. Ah, that makes a star come out. Ah, one up. 
I have no idea what that did. Oh yeah, these things turn into Chippendale. Again, not to be confused with the male strip club. So, what came first anyway? The male strip club or the cartoon characters? I really hope it wasn't the cartoon characters. Because surely they, they would have thought, mm, maybe we shouldn't name these chipmunks after this very famous male strip club. You'll notice he sweats. Well, you would have noticed he sweated if I wouldn't have screwed that up. Anyway, he sweats, sweats when he picks up the apple. Hey, does this blow up eventually? Ah, oh, it does. Question answered. If you ever have any stupid questions, I can get them answered in really painful ways. Yeah, the bombs don't really seem to be any better than any of the other weapons. Boss time, I think. Alright. Now this guy drops down, I think. Oops. Oops. That was dumb. Oh, that didn't work. If I can time this right... Oh, there we go. I might actually die here if I'm not careful. This is probably, I think, one of the harder bosses. Luckily, my God of War... Ah, uh, never mind. That's my first death, I believe. Luckily, it puts you right back at the boss. Obviously, I'm pretty sure your damage has been reset. He's throwing these alien boogers at you. Oops, and I got hit with my own ball. Oddly enough, getting hit with your own ball makes you immune while you're dazed. But, you have that split second where, while you're waking up from your own days, you're a mu you can be hit and you can't move. But, again, even that guy was pretty easy. I think he's the hardest guy. We're hoping for a one-up. Oh, and we did not get one. Gadget! Careful, guys! I just saw Fat Cat send some tough-looking characters to Zone D. Also, watch out for falling iron balls! Uh, <clears throat> Chip 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 and Dale, porno strippers. Throw some some throw something at the switches to stop them! Okay. Ah, uh, bears and glass. I'm sure nothing will come out. Wait, damn it, come on. This is like dead space. Something's gonna jump out. Blood coming out of their mouths. Something out of a truly horrific horror game. Survival or Chippendale. As you can tell, the... I don't know if you can tell on YouTube, but the springy boxes actually are colored a little different. Of course, I can't hit him. Yeah, good timing. Yeah, grab those stars stars, flowers, whatever. Anyway, uh, I actually wrote some things down about this game because, you know, I can't remember things. Uh, the game actually came out in June of uh, 1990 by Capcom. Yes, that Capcom, Mega Man, Street Fighter, that Capcom. As usual, uh, like I say, it's a good game. This was back in the day where you actually could have good games based off of TV shows and movies and things like that. Granted, <laughs> they also had really bad games based off movies and TV shows. And, of course, now that I think about it, they still were the... Hmm. Oh, go, 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 go. Hmm. I don't really remember these guys. Oh! Hold on. Uh, let me get through. Uh, anyway, yeah, so Capcom actually did a good job of doing these types of games. And like I say, this, while I definitely was no fan of the show, this game is actually quite fun. Oh, come on, it's carpet! Damn rabbit. Nope! I'm gonna... Mm -mm. S suck it! Alright. But, um, anyhow, son of a bitch. Take that. Oh, come on now. Oh, and there was a health acorn of radioactivity. Alright. 
So now we know what to expect. Yeah, you better run away. Let's take the top route. I think that's going to be the easiest. And make sure we've got a box with us. The son of a... Let's, yeah, let's not throw the box away. Oh, whoa. That's why. Because <laughs> I threw the box at the guy, and I was wondering why in the hell. There we go. <laughs> There's the metal balls I need to look out from hitting my chin. No comments. Son of a... Alright. There, yeah. Check out that skill, folks. Oh, it's already off. Well... Now see, this one will come on. Yep. Then we gotta turn it off again. But anyway, yes, June 19... Oh, come on now. June 1990. So at the time, I was about 12 years old when this game came out. Like I said, me and my friend played the... Son of a played the ever-living bejesus out of this game, because, you know, limited budget. Son of a bitch. How did I not see that coming? Alright, I need a magic acorn. Magic radioactive Chernobyl acorn. Damn it! Stupid game. Yeah, give, me, give them to me when I don't need them. Jab is a great game. Well, it still is a good game. I'm quite enjoying it. Quite easy. I don't know how long this place is going to take, but then once you've gotten used to it, then you can easily beat this game in like probably 30 minutes. I think the speed run for this game is probably sub 15 minutes. It's been a while since I've watched it, but uh, yeah, it's around that. Ouch. That was brilliant. So was that. I don't think enemies ever drop anything. Oh, thank God. But I kill him anyway. Because... Chip... Wait, is this Chip or Dale? I forget who I chose. Dale was the alcoholic, right? Because he was always dopey and had the red nose. Yeah, we know what that means. Now, we, you know, when we were kids, we didn't know. But now we know he was an alcoholic. Ah, oh, he's got some perky nipples going on there. It's kind of creepy. Oh, damn slow balls. If you can time that right, you can actually hit him twice. Oh, shit. Can I? Oh shit! I was trying to pick the ball up and then hit him. Damn it! Oh, oh, oh. Ah! I thought I was gonna squeeze him between the balls. Shut up! Why do I keep doing that? Stop making this ball harder than he is. Oh, do I not have to hit this? His perky nipples? Damn it! Stop doing that. Wow. Why am I dying to this guy? I better not get game over on this. Oh, Jesus. Come on. This is terrible. Ah. I'm going to focus less on hitting him and less on getting hit. If I would stop doing that, that would be great. I think it's actually throwing me off that the balls are moving so slow. Ah, see, damn it, that looks like that totally should not be hitting me. This should be the last hit, I think. Woohoo, thank God. Yeah, those 
balls have a slightly larger hit radius than they look like they should. Come on. I need that one up. Oh god, damn it. Oh, thank god. Gadget! I left a boat for you to use to get across the water in Zone E. Oh, by the way, I nearly fell into a hole in Zone F. Watch your step! Okay. Wait, what was she doing walking around Zone F? Wasn't she kidnapped? Oh well. So yeah, I need to collect a lot of... Wait, can I see my how many 1-ups I've got? Damn. Only one left, huh? That's not good. Like I said, I'm gonna... Damn it. Shame myself and, like, die on this. And look like a total tool after saying this game is so easy. Especially since I said, Oh, the bosses are really easy. Oh, shit. Jump down. Definitely gotta get all the flowers that I possibly can get. I'd have been really pissed if I would have... Oh, that was close. Been really pissed if I would not have gotten uh, that one up. Who? Go, go. Oh boy, this looks like it's gonna be fun. Oh, come on. You can still see the ledge. Ah, good old NES game, so that's like, uh, no lives left. Oh no. Uh, it's gonna totally put me way at the beginning, isn't it? Oh, I've got continues. So it puts you at the beginning of the stage. Well, that's good. Alright. So... We gotta actually get pay attention. And uh, not screw up. Less screwing up. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I actually am going to do DuckTales at one point. I'm working on uh, refining it a bit. It's not that hard of a game. It's just I don't want it to be a Fuster Cluck. And no, I'm not going to use save states. Okay, so it comes out three times. I think one, two, three. One, two, three. So wait, which one should I jump on? Hmm. It's going to be tricky. Hmm. Not sure which one I should jump on. Or like at what point should I jump? I guess is the question I'm asking. He loves it. Okay. Oh, I can go up to this one. And I hope this part doesn't last long. Because this sucks. Yeah, I probably shouldn't needlessly jump high. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Since, even though you can see the floor below you, with old Nintendo games, once something's off the screen, it doesn't exist anymore. By the way, there's no way to tell, as far as I can... I know. Gadget. Good work, team! You're almost at the casino! Now, getting a little uh, brief with your encouragement there. I am at the casino. Thank you. Can we get a little R&R uh, &R gambling? Oh. Die. You lounge lizards. At least I guess that's what those were supposed to be. Leisure Shoot Larry. It's the first thing I thought of. You know. That was the... Well, it was the first... Name of his first game, I think. Leisure Suit Larry and... Ah, I forget what the hell that was. Shut up. 
Hey, finally, metal boxes again. Oh, that's the thing about metal boxes is... That's the negative is you can't throw them. You can only put them down. But that's fine. That guy jumped to heaven, I guess. Godspeed, my friend. Godspeed. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Go to hell. So, son of a... I need to start picking boxes up again to look for health. Yeah, I don't know if those things actually hurt you, so I don't want to take a chance of going up there. Even though I know there's tons of flowers. Oh, rhinos. Yeah, they're wussies. Not like those roosters who are apparently pretty badass. I still don't know what that pea does. Booyah! Suck it. Don't know what the star does either, but I'm picking it up. I know what that does. I do like me some acorns. Oh, here we go. One up. Holla. Yeah. I'm guessing that's the card dealer grabby bug. Yeah. They have some bizarre employees. Ah. Forgot you can pick boxes up while you're in the air. I'm just looking for... I don't know what I'm looking for. One-ups, I guess. Oh no, bombs that I can pick up and immediately throw. Look out. I want to take this on the next stage. Nintendo rules, baby. You can't take anything with you. Oh god. I want to go down there. Not gonna. But I wanted to. Mm. Piss off. Yeah, I don't want the flowers that bad. Keep one with me. Take this apple. Oh, hell yeah. Exactly like I planned. Oh, I almost did not make that. Ah, let's see what that is. Damn it. What the? Uh huh. Oh, hell yeah. Uh. I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't. Hmm. Oh, that was not good. So, <laughs> I kind of anticipated that happening. There we go. Ow! Oops. <laughs> Took my finger off the button for like a second there. It's a rain and nuggets of gold. That's probably not very good for the oops ow patrons to have random spikes by your you know, one armed bandits, but Franklin Franklin Franklin. By the way, if you get that reference, you are awesome. You know, going to the bottom has not been fruitful. Hey. Actually, it's random, I'm pretty sure. <gasps> Gadget! I love you, Gadget. Thanks, guys! I knew you could do it! Fat, chat. Fat Cat just ran off, but you can chase him with my rocket! Oh, I'll chase him with your rocket. Red Rocket! Red Rocket! Rocket! Meh! Okay, no, I'm not gonna do Elton John. Not that there's anything wrong with liking Elton John, because Elton John's pretty awesome. Did we just take off and land in the same place? Oh, sh I forget there was three more levels. I thought there was like one. Damn it. <sighs> not that I'm, you know, not liking playing. I'm just paranoid that now that, you know, I'm recording. I'm like gonna hit a hard stage and make an ass out of myself. Well, I mean more so. And like die and start over from the beginning. That would be like totally gnarly, dude. I 
By the way, if you have any, um... Not that I'm really taking requests, so I don't even know why I'm asking this. Uh, don't even think about it, you sewer crab. Ugh. I don't think I'd want to mess with sewer- Oh, oh, that's bullshit, you fucking flying ninja squirrel flying jackass. Anyway, not that I'm really taking requests right now, because I've got so many games that I want to play- Fuck you, crab, man, a son of a bitch. But, um, anyway, if you've got any, like, classic games you'd like me to play that aren't, like, crazy hard to do, like, no, I'm not doing Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, now I have a vendetta against those guys. But, um, go ahead and throw them in. I'll consider... God, but, uh, uh, that's horse shit. There's, like, no way I could have known. He, like, popped up right on me. It's like... White on rice. Or fur on a porn stripping chipmunk. <laughs>